Once there was a small house at the edge of a village. After that house is the starting of a dark forest, the forest of mystery. No one could ever come back from there if once entered. In that house there was a little boy named Jack. He lived with his mother and father. He always used to play with birds and insects of his surroundings. He had no friends because no one ever come to that edge of the village where their house was. Jack was always forbidden to go to that forest. He also used to get scared whenever he looked at the forest. One day, while he was playing alone, he saw a beautiful firefly. It was almost evening at that time. He started to follow the firefly. It was going towards the dark forest, and Jack was behind it, following it like a hypnotized boy. The firefly went through the forest. The wolves were howling. It was dark everywhere. Jack was still following the firefly. After some time, when he was in the middle of the forest, Jack suddenly came to sense. He realized he is in the restricted dark forest and standing in front of a big scary haunted house. Jack became frightened and started calling his father and mother loudly. But no one answered. He thought it would be better entering the big house than standing outside as the forest is full of wild animals. The house was very old and it seemed that no one lived there for decades. He opened the door of the house. It was junk, spider waves and dust were everywhere in the house. There was a living room just in the middle and in both sides there were two white stairs to go up. Jack climbed up through the stairs. There were three rooms upstairs. Jack entered the middle room and saw a little bed. Suddenly he heard a sound of crying, a sound of a little girl. He heard the sound coming from the cupboard. Jack was frightened but managed to open the cupboard. But there was nothing inside it. Again, he heard someone running through the stairs. He came outside to see, but found nothing. Suddenly, he felt someone holding his shoulder from behind with a cold hand. Jack was too afraid to look behind. His hands and legs became cold. He heard from behind, Good morning, in a scary voice. Jack slowly turned behind to see. Suddenly, his eyes got open. He saw he was lying in his bed, and his mother was waking him, telling, Good morning, dear. It's time for breakfast. Wake up. Jack understood that he was having a nightmare. Realizing that, he took a deep breath, smiled and replied to his mother. Good morning, mom. 